We are back with rating my subscribers, snowmobiles. If you guys have a sled you guys want me to rate, go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is going to be right here on the screen. Send a picture of your sled, what your sled is, and what is done to your sled, and we'll go ahead and get in the videos. A few short announcements before we get into today's video. I will be in the Upper Peninsula, Michigan from Wednesday, December 30th through Sunday, January 3rd. I was originally going to be staying in the Houghton area, but now I'll be staying in the Calumet area. But I will be riding the entire portion of the q on there. So if you guys see me or you guys see my sled, do not be afraid to come up and say what's up. I want to meet the people that support me and support the channel. One last thing is I noticed that a lot of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So go ahead and please take a quick second and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. With all that being said, let's get into the first sled. First submission today is going to be from Brian. Brian is one a friend of mine. He has a bunch of player snowmobiles. He sent in his son's switchback assault 600, and that is his son. He is 12 years old riding a wheelie and he also sent in his other son's sled which is a pro arm kit he has that thing absolutely vertical brian i know you got beautiful sleds and these are awesome action shots i'm going to give you a 10. our next submission is going to be evan evan is a 2011 players iqr it's trail converted has a 5k clutch engagement stock 600 rr motor and stock players race can and there's one thing there's just something about those iqrs that i absolutely love i've mentioned before in videos i've always wanted to own an iqr i don't know why i've just always had a fascination with these sleds and a fascination with like snow cross and I just love the way these sleds look. I think it's such like a fun sled as a ditch banger or like even a trail sled. I love your sled, man. I'm going to give you a nine. Dave. Dave has a 2019 Pro MK 850 with a 163 and a 3 inch paddle. And also has a 2018 Pro MK 800 with a 155 and a 2.6 inch paddle. And two absolutely beautiful sleds. Love the wrap on the first one. Is that yellow or lime? It's really hard to tell. But either way, the wrap looks sick. And the other sled looks sweet too. I love Lime Squeeze. Any sled in Lime is just, I don't know, I have a soft spot for it because I own a Lime Squeeze sled. Two gorgeous sleds. I'm going to go and give you a 9. Back here has a 2021 Switchback Assault 850. He says nothing's been done to it. Either way, man, sweet sled. I love the black and red. You don't see a lot of the black and red. Love the sled, man. I'm going to give you a 7. <laughs> We got Mr. Owen. Owen has a 2006 Arctic Hat F6. Right off the bat, dude, I can tell you got some sort of exhaust on that sled, and it sounds really, really good. Sled also looks really good. I like the chrome on green. Once again, I'm not a big fan of chrome on anything, but for some reason, I do like that chrome on the green. It just, like, it fits the sled. It looks right. Sled sounds good. I'm going to give you a 7. Mr. Matt here. He has two sleds. This first one is a 97 Ultra 680. Only heard they came with trail pipes. You guys just heard that sled. Sled sounds absolutely incredible. Love the sound of that sled. And the second one is a 99 Players XC600 with 6 dollar kilometers on it. Custom seat and underglow. Two sleds, man. Two beautiful sleds. I'm going to give you a 7. We got Dylan here. Dylan has a 2012 Summit 600 custom wrap. Jaws race can, free ride skis, and 2 inch lug. Really like the wrap there. Love the 509 sticker. Big 509 guy. Lime skis, I believe, on there. Looking good. It ties in nicely with your monster sticker. Sweet sled. I'm going to give you a 7. Curtis Curtis is a 2016 High Country Limited 8000. Basically stock just the GGB Mountain Can. But, man, it looks good stock. I like that murdered out look. And, like, I don't know if you have a headlight cover on there or what's going on. But it almost looks like a daytime running light on a car. And that looks really, really freaking cool. Either way, man, absolutely love the murdered out look. I believe that's a matte black decal too, which is really sweet. Beautiful sled. I'm going to give you an 8. All right, we got Joey here. Joey has a 2017 Player 600R with Jaws race can, Jaws clutching, and different gearing from drag racing. But I normally use the racing gear on the studded track, and that is a Axis race sled, dude. Love these sleds. Absolutely love these sleds. Like I just mentioned before, the IQR, the race sleds are just, they do something for me. I love the way they look and just like everything about them. Like it's just such a cool sled, and this one is no exception to that. Sweet sled, I'm going to give you an 8. Here is a 2001 RK 550, and for being a 550, that exhaust sounds extremely good on this sled. I love when you guys send me videos. I like to see you guys riding, and I like to put you guys riding on the channel. It's just something cool, it's something fun, something different. Um, you're absolutely ripping the sled, man. Nice little jump you got going there. Sweet looking sled, too. I'm gonna go and give you a seven. Double clutch set in a 2017 800 Pro RMK with a pretty crazy looking wrap. You got a whole bunch of things going on there. You got the yellow on back, and then you got the blue, pink, purplish going on in the middle, and then the yellow on the front with the red skis. Got like a whole rainbow going on the sled, but I dig it. I think it looks sweet. Cool looking sled. I'm going to give you a 7.
got Stuart here. He has a 2010 IQR 600 mod sled. The stuff that's been doing it is a race department clutches, full open mod motor, Jaws twin pipes, Fox Evo 3 shocks, RSI boondocker bars, and dude, this is it. I'm buying an IQR, man. This is the third IQR we've had on this episode. I swear this is a sign that I should buy one of these. There's something about those way those sound with the mod pipes and the mod motors and just like that raw, just race sound and race feel. Oh my god, y'all. That's that's definitely a sign. I gotta go out and get one of these. Awesome slot. I'm giving you a nine. We got Damien here with a 2001 Skidoo Summit 600 with a $300 stem and bar system, two inch power man risers with pro taper pit bike bars. And that's interesting because when I was watching your video, I noticed the pro tapers and I know those sleds did not come with pro tapers. So that's pretty sweet that you went ahead and put those on there. Also has a Skidoo can which sounds good. Another thing I noticed in the video is it sounds awesome. It's a Summit 144 with a one and a half inch track. And he said the sled rips. Well, it sounds like it rips and I really like the pro taper bars. Cool sled, I'm gonna give you a seven. All right, we got Justin here. Justin has a, looks like a player's indie. Looks pretty stock. But it's a nice looking sled. Love seeing these older indies because I used to have one myself. And honestly, that was one of my favorite sleds to ride. Like my mom has a 2009 Switchback. And between that sled and like my 99 Indy, I'd honestly almost prefer riding the 99 Indy. And that's saying a lot. I really like these indie sleds. Cool looking sled. I'm going to give you a 7. We got Chase. Chase has a 1985 Skidoo Formula Plus, 521 cc's, has a tune pipe, but everything else is stock. And dude, it sounds awesome and it looks like it's a blast to ride. Really cool sled. Like that it has the tune pipe on it. it makes it unique, makes it sound really good. I'm gonna give you a seven. Tanner here. Tanner has a all black switchback assault and it looks like it has a two inch lug on it, if I'm not mistaken, which is awesome. I have a switchback assault with the 135 and to be honest, it's just not enough. I wish I would have got the two inch. Dude, sweet sled, love the murdered out look. I'm gonna give you an eight. All right, we got Joe Keem here. I think you pronounce it Joe Keem. If not, I apologize for messing up your name, but it looks like he has a Articat Alpha One, and ooh boy, I think this is one of the first Alphas we've had on here, and I've always wanted to ride an Alpha just to see what it's like compared to like a Pro or a Summit. A uh, really cool sled, like the primer gray and like the red. I'm gonna give you an eight. We got Panu here, a Panu. I'm sorry if I messed your name up, but Panu has a 2011 Switchback Assault, aftermarket bumper, SLP pipe, and Fox Float Evo 3s. And I have this exact same sled for my girlfriend to ride, and I absolutely love it. The sled looks great stock. Like, I thought about wrapping it, but like, I really like that gray. Just, I just like the look of it. It looks really good from the factory. And I can see you have a two inch track on there. Wish I would have went with the two inch. I'm glad you got it because I made that mistake and I will not make that mistake again. Awesome sled. I'm going to give you an eight. Camden here. Camden has two sleds. He has a 2004 MXZ 800 and a 2008 Skidoo Renegade 600. His and his dad's sleds. Love to see father and son riding here like me and my dad do. The Renegade looks pretty sweet and the MXZ looks very familiar like the sled that I was going to rebuild on the channel but I ran out of time and just didn't have, just honestly just didn't have time to rebuild it. Either way, two awesome sleds. I'm going to give you guys a 7. We got Blair. Blair has an 03 Articat F7. It's got racing clutches, full MBRP race exhaust, regular 4 inch bar riser, 6 inch rail extensions, aftermarket headlights, Fox Zero race shocks all the way around. The sled is a Team Articat edition and the sled looks awesome. It looks like you also have an aftermarket seat if I'm not mistaken and I believe that would be a wrap too. Looks really sweet on that sled you got a whole bunch done to that awesome sled i'm gonna give you an eight we got noah here he sent me a skidoo xrs these sleds are awesome love the wrap on the sled these sleds just look good with the wrap i don't know what it is about the skidoos but i have a thing for skidoos and the way they look skidoo does a really good job with these sleds and the body lines especially when you like put a decal kit or a wrap on it, it looks even better awesome sled i'm gonna give you a seven <laughs> Carson here. He has a 2018 SKS 800 146 2.25 lug with a GGB mountain can and CRF bars with a total of seven inch rise. Cobra pole cord and rope too. You can't see it obviously, but he's got the lime squeeze and the blue, which is an awesome combo. And I hear it. It sounds really good. You're doing a little carve there. Love to see it. Awesome sled. I'm gonna give you an eight. All right, we got Daniel. Daniel has a 2013 Pro MK 165. Has about a thousand kilometers on it or 600 miles. And he has a whole mess of parts. It's turbo, it has an engine rebuild, cut tunnel, Skidoo 165 3 inch track, 850 axis skid, skins panels, headlight lead, RSI low bars, power brake lever, custom seat, full length tunnel stiffener, cat rear bumper, skins front bumper, alternate impact narrowing kit, Fox front shocks, custom mountain edition rails, BCA tunnel bag, mountain edition gas can, powder coated parts, he powder coated a whole bunch of stuff on his sled, and he says some other things he's forgetting. 
I would just want to know, this is like a Frankenstein sled. Daniel, how'd you get all these parts to fit up on this sled and how does it like, how does it ride? How does it feel to have like all the major brands parts mixed into one sled? That's pretty awesome. You've obviously put a lot of time and a lot of money in the sled. 100% respect that, that is awesome. And once again, the sled looks really cool too. I'm gonna go and give you a nine. We got Kale here. Kale has a 1998 Polaris XC600. He said mint and it's torqued. And dude, that picture is awesome. That's absolutely saucy. I love that picture. Like that's something I'd want framed in my room. Or it looks like so you'd see how to like the 98 Polaris catalog for all the new sleds. That is an awesome picture. And he also has a 2017 Articat ZRS3000. He said he crashed it into a pole. Oh man. Yeah, I can see the bumper's a little messed up there. Sled doesn't look too badly damaged. Hopefully you were okay. Two cool sleds. Love that first picture. I'm gonna give you an eight. Alexander here with a 1998 Players Indy 500. He said it's absolutely mint. He put mint in all capital letters, so it's got to be freaking mint. Sled sounds mint. Sled looks mint. I'm going to give you a seven. Unfortunately, that was the last submission for rating my subscriber snowmobile. So we are officially out of people to rate. You sent the sled in, and for some reason, it did not make it in the video. Please send me another DM and comment down below letting me know that your sled did not make it in so we can make sure we can make it into the next one. Because we are out of sleds, we need more sleds to rate. If you guys want your sled rated, go ahead and shoot me a DM. My Instagram is behind the screen. Go ahead and just send a picture of your sled, what your sled is, and what is done to it. Once again, I'll be in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan next week, Wednesday, December 30th, through Sunday, January 3rd. I'll be staying in the Calumet area, but riding the entire Keweenaw. So if you guys see me or you see my sled out there do not be afraid to come up and say what's up to me i want to meet the people that support this channel and support me and make all this possible please take a second once again and just make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel any videos are coming soon i'm so stoked i cannot wait i'm like love making these videos and sitting down and talking about sleds and whatnot but nothing beats getting out on the sled and making content and that's what we're about to do next week and i am so excited so hopefully you guys are ready too all that being said if you guys like today's video smash a huge thumbs up on today's video leave a comment down below letting me know who your favorite sled was and if you're going to be in the off peninsula michigan next weekend like I always say if you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next video peace out foot on the gas foot on the gas living too fast living too woke. it's not where you been nah nah boy where you at hey. don't tell me relax nah.